Star Trek Beyond, rather than give you a normal movie review. And since I'm in the process of moving all of my shit, I'm going to take you guys along with me and my good pal to see the movie. Grab some Sour Patch Kids. Hey there guys, how are you? Uh, I'm in a new location, a different location, a weird location. It's the top secret location of the new Flit Cave. Sneak peek right there. And I'm here with a good pal of mine, an old pal, uh, a mentor as they call it. Yes. Uh, is uh, my good pal, the crazy Jason. Howdy friendos. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm glad to be here. This is an awesome place. You like it? Yes, yeah. I do. Do you feel like you can like focus in here and pay attention? And uh, Does it feel... I do. Does, I... It, does it feel magical? It doesn't feel magical, but this is weird. What are we doing in here? It's like, I don't Why know. are you here? Yeah. Let we've me... been talking on the phone for five years. Yeah, we've, yeah, five years. A friendship five, of five years. Five years. This is the second time I've met you. Yeah. I haven't even touched you yet. No, we haven't hugged. We haven't touched. We got okay. 20 minutes to get to the theater. We haven't even bought tickets. We got to stop and get fucking goobers and, and sour, sour patch, patch kids. kids. I, but here, my question to you is when you get a snack, all right, you, you, here's what you got to do. You got to get a fruity snack and a chocolate snack. Yeah. You need two. Yeah. It's like the different food groups of snacks. Well, I just for, need it for, the for my blood sugar. But, well, yeah. you, well, I just I got sweaty food. palms. You want to feel? <laughs> no. okay. Just the thought of that puts like a salty taste Saliva. in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're in the gas station, all right? <laughs> I'm. There's a guy to the right of me, some random dude, I'm to the left, and all of a sudden I see your hand fly by this guy's neck, get this for me, and you drop it on top of his shit. I, <laughs> I threw it on top of his beef jerky and I said, get this for me. <laughs> he was okay. He was okay. He, he thought, thought it was me. You thought you were handing me From the, behind, the you were the same height yeah. and the same body build. Yeah. And I just went around. I, I even t slightly touched his shoulder. Tossed it like this. Well, he went through the air, landed on his beef jerky and cigars. Probably broke him. And I said, get this. And he was like, okay. I said, no. And I started laughing. He started laughing. And I said, no, man. And I tried to take it back. And he was like, no, I'm going to get it. You know, and he, he, actually, was, he was slightly intoxicated, too. You could, you could. He had a glaze in his eyes. That's okay. He literally, and we were walking out the door, and he was like, okay. And I was like, dude, have a good night. <laughs> and then I was like, and I got to try that more often. <laughs> I, because, I mean. <laughs> I knew what was happening the whole time. Just walk up to somebody and toss this nonchalantly, get that for me. <laughs> Just fucking. And I wasn't even polite about it. No, get that for me. I was like, get that, because I, for expediency, I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> It's a good thing anyway. I feel so good about it because this is a rip off, man. Because of time, we yeah. had to go to a gas station. Yeah. This was two dollars. It should have been a bug. It should have been like eighty nine cents. And it was, you didn't beg either. You demanded. No, that's a demand key. is called it's respect. That's respect. I think that's you put fear into their hearts. You send them ping down their own legs, and they respect you. I accidentally alpha mailed them. I can't find a fucking parking spot. No what are you brain. afraid of a little walk? Right here. All right, what'd you what'd you get? What'd you get? We're gonna give uh, the candy count down. All I got was what this dude bought me. <laughs> Box of goobers, man. Well, I'm fucking jealous. Can you imagine if I threw those peaches down too? Oh, the peach rings they were all happy about. Oh damn. Grandma's peach rings. I got two beef jerkies with cheese. Yeah, you gonna share one? No. Okay. I need the protein. Sour Skittles, you can have a few. If I have the shakes, I need yeah. those. Okay. But, what I'm, but you don't, I'm not gonna pour them into your hand. I'm gonna pour them into my hand into your hand. It may get to a point where I just pour it into my mouth. Okay? Yeah, Pass and then uh, peanut M&Ms and some raisin nuts. Jesus, you're going to town, man. Yeah, I'm hungry. It's like six things. It's I a need... two hour movie. You man. didn't eat tonight? I ate something, I just like, wasn't enough. I look like Tom Cruise right now. Hey there guys, how are you? So we just came out of the theater. Uh, we're gonna talk about the movie as we walk out to my car. Uh, but my first thing I wanna say about this film is, uh, I, you know who the biggest fan of this movie is right now? Not me. <laughs> Probably not me either. No. The Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys and NWA. They, they, they have to be loving this movie because they haven't had a hit in 25 years and the royalties they're making from these these fucking movies this is going to be phenomenal. I love yeah. Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Sabotage. Yeah. When, when it's used as an actual, the, the music... I don't want to spoil anything, but music is used as a weapon. When the, like one of the keys. <laughs> when the music's used for a weapon during the, the block, climax. Block point. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, it as becomes, they show the plans for the Death Star. Yeah. So if you guys, if, if you had a problem with the uh, the '90s, uh, 
you know, pop culture music in the trailer. Just wait till you see the movie. So uh, let's talk about the movie. What's uh, I, I'm gonna say this. Forget the bad. No the spoilers, ending. by the way. Um, spoiler free. Spoiler free. Uh, not a spoiler discussion, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. Why not? We can do that. Um, I want to say this. <laughs> no, really Maybe I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of all of the energy after I think this, this one. This is it. This, this, is the this might be it. Uh, so uh, the first thing I want to say is I just feel like everyone's staring at me, especially these people. It's because we're screaming. Uh, well, you do. Who cares? You, what, I'm gonna whisper out. When I talk, I talk like this when I walk yeah. outside. Okay, so we found out that Sulu was gay. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl? Where the fuck did I park? What? You're confusing me. Why are you still stuck on this? Why are you still talking about... Well, I, I don't... Because I'm a Trekkie, man. I, I, I There were some cool little moments in there. Yeah. That harken back to the original... Which makes sense because it's the 50th anniversary. Okay. Um, and they even had that picture that I have. Well, well, they, that's spoilery. They, they, let's, I, I don't, I don't okay. think it's spoilery. All right. I think what it is, it's they, they throw out, there's a little homage that's very out of place. It's stupidy. It's stupidy. Uh, from you the, want me to be out it, of frame? It's I from, keep walking it's, towards it's, you. It's from Rathacon, right? The image, Rathacon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, uh, by the way, I. We're gonna ride home on this. He's on the back riding bitch. Of course, I'm doing. Uh, I almost look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you're gonna be Edward Furlong, and a little John Connor. And you you're want gonna... me to do full wraparound? No, you're gonna ride in the front. I'm gonna be behind you. Okay, so you're, yeah. you're riding bitch. Yeah, get on. You think it makes you look cool that people have been wearing glasses in videos since 2010? 3D glasses. Uh, 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 uh. You are gonna have uh, 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 dinosaurs in your uh, uh, Star Trek movie. <laughs> okay, my arm is very tired. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So let's break down the movie. Mm -hmm. Our quick thoughts, our initial thoughts, our initial reactions. Right. Um, uh, first act was good. Uh, based on the trailers, the movie was slightly better than I expected, but it did. This movie definitely catered to the uh, hardcore Fast and Furious crowd. Uh, and what I mean by that is, first movie up here. Then the IQ dropped for the second movie, and then for this movie, the IQ drops all the way down here. Yeah, it would make sense because it's the yeah. 50th anniversary of Star Trek. So why cater to the Star Trek crowd? No, they they're not. Uh, they're not. They're not relevant. They're 10 percent of this audience anymore. So you won't well, really. If you, yeah. Uh, I thought that it was halfway through. I was like, well, at least this is a little better than Into Darkness, because I really hated Into Darkness. I loved the first track. I didn't like Into Darkness, and. Um, this movie I thought was going to be better, but by the end, I'm sorry, man. It was just... Yeah. I, I will say this. At least this movie, the the idea of going into space, deep space, going on missions, exploring planets, it was there. It was there. The beginning was good. Yeah. And when the, they arrived at the star base, and you got to see how big the, the awesome star base, you know, because if you're a fan of the original yeah. series, you expect a star base to be huge and populated by, you know, a million people, and it, it showed all of that finally. Yeah. Do you think that Enterprise will ever make it through a movie? No, they have to blow it up every time. At least in the first That's, act, too. Yeah. It, well, the last movie was, what was it? The it second, was the last. The second act, it, it was destroyed in this movie okay. by the first act. It's no It's more. gone. It's yeah. gone. But they found another starship on the planet. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> convenient. Yeah, it's very convenient. convenient also, yeah. I didn't under, really understand the motivation. The you villain. Under, the the villain. villainous motivation. You get to understand his motivation in the third act. There, which is not good. You got to under like yeah. if you look at Wrath of Khan, which Star Trek always tries to duplicate that with the villain. You understand his motivation from the beginning. In this movie, what are you doing? Stepping I, away I, from I, my nerdiness? I, I never. You can't be close. I can taste it, man. I've never been able to get this far away from the camera. It's kind of. It's kind of cool. It's a little weird, but yeah. Uh, oh far, no, I'm. Co I've been covering the lens. I'm sorry. I'm well, I, to, I was looking. As far as this I, is his camera. As far as Idris Elba goes uh, as the villain. Good, terribly written, and uh, as far as character motivation, it's slightly there. But as far as um, having a reason for half the shit that happens throughout the movie with him, as he kind of, the way he looks, there's a backstory there. Right. They don't quite explore that or care to really explain it. They just tell you what it is at the end of the movie. Basically. But very, it doesn't even like almost make sense to a certain extent. It's, it's, the, same be in the, water. it's the same movie. Is the last they one. do keep yeah. repeating the themes yeah. of Kirk. You know, he joined up because of a dare, and he's trying to. You know, he's it's his birthday, and he's trying to be better than his daddy or whatever. I don't for, know for what the, the third time around. Yeah, exact same same character arc three times. Same three times. Right. Yeah. This is the sequel that really should have happened 
This instead of this should have been the second movie. Exactly. I agree. The second movie, yeah, but but better. And I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Simon Pegg, I don't know if there were a lot of fingers in the pie or what. There were some funny moments yeah. with Simon Pegg, and there were some funny, good moments between Spock and McCoy, which I appreciated. Yeah, Bones and Spock actually had some good chemistry, some good, uh, they were kind of stuck with each other for a right. little bit. That was probably the most entertaining. It was good, yeah, it was it funny. Yeah, like Star Trek. It did. Uh, what was the chick's name? The, the painted white. I liked her. Ju Jaru, ja 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 J Lo, J Lo, J Lo was I liked her. J -Lo, I liked she J -Lo. was a good character. I yeah. liked her. Yeah. Um, it's too bad. She was a badass chick. She was uh, oh, more it. developed. Uh, yeah, my I hands getting like, shaky. You're getting shaky, man. I know you were getting shaky. Get at the gym every once in a while. Do some bicep curls, man. Yeah. Well, I might. All right. So anyway, uh, what are your final looking my thoughts final, on this movie? My final. <laughs> your final. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> you're my... drunk from Diet Coke. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, didn't uh, Idris Elba? At the end, sound drunk. <laughs> Angry Federation. Warning! Spoilers. Um, did you like how at the final climax of the film, he couldn't even comprehend that his his ship was in deep space and it crash landed? Maybe that's why no one could find him. He couldn't comprehend that. Yeah. Again, I hate. The, I've, the, we've said motivation like ten times, it, but it's that's a big problem. It, they try to say this is character motivation, but the motivation's just stupid. It's dumb. It's, when, it's, they're, they're doing it's things weak. like he's telling you her because uh, she's yeah she she's with him. He captured her, whatever. Yeah. And they're arguing. You know, she's saying, "Oh, you know, when we're all together, it's stronger." And he's trying to say something about no death and destruction, and that's supposed to be some kind of motivation. Yeah. But it makes little sense. No. It, if they had revealed what they revealed in the third act about this character earlier then maybe it would have made a better but film. then I mean, once she's but the thing is he felt like he was abandoned but now she's telling him that they're coming to save us so everything his whole philosophy and model of life is just proven wrong right there in front of him but he doesn't know how to swallow that pill none of it makes any sense it, it's I, I, I mean it does i guess i mean if you sat down and really wanted to study it and try to break it down but it's muddled i, I, I guess muddled i, I don't i don't need a i don't need a, you know a think piece out of a star trek movie but i at least wanted what the first movie gave us in terms of iq quality which right. you don't need a you know it doesn't have to be all the way up here just just not fast and furious part seven I don't expect down there. i'm a huge yeah star trek fan okay so, I, mean, I don't want to go on and on and on about all the other movies but I mean, those movies had real character moments. They, and they took their time. Yeah, they took their time. And that's and again, the first Star Trek, the first Abrams Star Trek, I was perfectly happy with. I was like, they couldn't have done it any better for today's audience. The, I get that. The emotions, man. Like, right. Like yeah. I just said, they, they, those emotions took time. In this movie... It they, was missing. Remember when they, 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 they get the other ship working, right? Yes. They go off the planet. It's grandiose okay. music. Okay. You're supposed to feel some emotion... Da, there, da, you know da, you are. Da. Yeah. And, and instead, you're kind of rolling your eyes because you just watched uh, James Kirk run around on a, on, on a dirt uh, a bike. A dirt bike. Uh, uh, that well, was on the old ship for some the, reason. The, the old ship had a, a dirt bike, even though the, the old ship's 100 years old, but they felt the need to put a dirt bike on a spaceship. When they already explained that, you know, spaceships weren't made for landing on planet. I guess they could have put it in a shuttlecraft. Was it for the captain to ride around on planets? <laughs> he just, they discovered he rides around the ship on a fucking dirt bike. Yeah, just through the hallways. Yeah. Uh, screaming about Starfleet and how much he it's hates It's like, it. why didn't he just... We have hoverboards nowadays. Why the fuck couldn't he have a hoverboard? He had to have a dirt bike. Does this review make any sense? No. Nah, a we're couple talking, of guys bitching. We're talking about fucking dirt bikes. Bottom um, line, I did, get Hey, it. did they play the Beastie Boy song during the dirt bike scene as well? <laughs> I, I felt like... They might as well have. <laughs> if they didn't, they might as well have. Yeah. They... they it was worse than I thought because the trailer you see, Kirk on the on the motorcycle and he's switch flying. sides. My 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 uh, right hand's getting you, a little you need, tired. You need to you need to do some. Uh, it's well, it, it, can it, can it can only take so much. It can only take so much. Just wrap up the. Wrap uh, okay, up your, I just wanted to say he fly, he goes to save the the what's her name girl. Okay. And so the bike he's flying through the air. He yeah. jumps off the motorcycle in midair. She fall, flies through the air and they hold hands yes. as they're beamed aboard the ship. That's the kind of thing I'm getting a little bit tired of the, in the this Star Trek the universe. The sappy last second uh, mumbo jumbo. Right, and that was right before then they, you know, blast off and it's supposed to be a a swelling moment of, a, yeah. of emotions. I, okay, here's what I'm going to say. Here's my final thoughts on this movie. Bottom line. Uh, better than the trailers make it. Uh, I would say there's moments 
that had potential. It's an entertaining blockbuster popcorn movie. If you're not, if you're going into this expecting Fast and Furious Part Eight in space, I think you'll be entertained. I disagree. I think Fast and Furious is better. Well, every Fast and Furious if, movie. If this movie, not like everyone. A, a hologram Paul Walker in this movie. Right. Like I think Fast and Furious Five, Six, and Seven were better than this. You do. I, I kind of do. I mean, okay, okay. I, I, I would say part five was. I don't know about seven and eight. What? I really didn't yeah. get that they were trying to put Fast and Furious into space. I felt they were, yeah. I don't know what they were doing. I felt like they had a great premise and it was a poor execution from a muddled script. The, and the, it, yes, is, is the script good? That's my final kind of word on it. And it had some good character moments, just a little bit. The first act was pretty fun when, when the Starship was getting attacked. That was some fun shit. I liked I liked the uh, the, uh, the weaponry that the alien race it's had, like, like was, a beehive. Yeah, a beehive. It's like a bunch talk, of yeah. bees coming in and and going into the ship, and it was it was really cool. But and I don't want to shit all over the movie, so there are some moments, but in the end, there's times we looked and laughed at each other. We just laughed. Yeah, because there was nothing else you could do. You just had to. Well, laugh. you leaned over and said, "Here comes the uh, pop music." From the '90s, and and uh, and it, and it, and it, it happened. used it as a weapon. Yeah. I mean, I just knew it was happening. I, I couldn't could feel be, it. Couldn't be more unhappy. Um, I'm gonna give the movie. I'm gonna give it. I want to say a B minus because I could I watch it again? Maybe on Netflix two years from now. Mm. Was it as bad as the trailers like, made it look? No, but uh, well, you know, we both I, we both share this uh, passion for watching the first 30 minutes. The movies we do we so, lo we love the first 30 minutes that's kind of like a perfect <laughs> if you want 30 minutes of good action yeah. watch the first 30 minutes of this movie okay i'm gonna give it a c plus uh, yeah yeah i could feel you i might c plus b minus I, was... I can't i can't decide yeah i'm gonna go i'm just i'm gonna go with the b minus just to switch it up a little bit all right uh but yeah anyway guys that's our thoughts on the movie let us know your thoughts down below what'd you think of star trek beyond yeah i uh i think they're gonna make another one another sequel I will have to see how this... Well, they will. They'll always make more. I mean, the new Star Trek series is coming out in January. The, there's a little bit of a trailer online right. right now. FYI, look it up. It's the new ship. But, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. They made this for the 50th anniversary, and that's a, that's a little... Makes it even more disappointing, you know? I, I just don't... You know, I'm, I'm, I think... I, I feel like I'm fulfilled with what they've done. So, I, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with this like version. With the Abrams version. I'm yeah. The, Ready for a new vision. I'm done. Yeah, I'm good. Let's, Me too. Let's just, move on. Just go do something else. Right. I agree. Hire a new team and yeah, just uh, yeah, whatever. I like the actors though. So if they wanted to make more with that crew, I approve of the actors. How about they just take Carl Urban and make Judge Dredd too? Just do that. And yeah. You, and you don't need two hundred million dollars like this movie spends. You just need thirty. No, you don't. Judge 30, Dredd was amazing. Thirty million. Yeah. You got a, a, a better movie. Anyway, guys. Leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. That's the Crazy Jason. Check out his channel at yep. the Crazy Jason. Uh, four I, days I, ago. I don't even want to imagine. It's I can show you a picture. You want, you want me to show him a picture? No. Thanks for watching, guys, <laughs> and we'll see you next time.